Hi, and welcome to another Raw Ivory tutorial. I'm Julia Griffin here at Raw Ivory, and today we are going to do um, a pixel effect in After Effects in under five minutes. I'm shooting for two, honestly. Okay, so here's the effect that I'm gonna be showing you how to do. I'm not going to show you the actual animation, which is separate from the effect. So, um, first what we're gonna start off with is a new composition. It's going to be 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames per second. Now, I'm sorry, um, when I recorded this, the menus did not record, so you're going to see a lot of odd phantom color changes, and um, basically you won't see any of the menus that right-click brings up, unfortunately. So um, let's get started with our new comp. So this typeface is actually totally wrong for this project. You want something uh, chunky. Nice and thick. Something you can really get your hands on. <laughs> this is Skoder 1989. Um, I use this typeface in all of my branding. So just give me a sec while I make my little uh, brand effect, which is the, the light green um, with the, the white on top. A nice little green drop shadow. Okay, there we go. So cute. And so little. All right, so now we're gonna make a, another solid. Doesn't matter what color, because we're dropping a ramp on that guy. Bam. All right, and I'm gonna change it to my, my colors right now. So the pink and the orange. Here is again that phantom effect of no, no menus when I record with the game bar on my PC. All right, there we go. So let's drag this guy down to the bottom. This is looking a little plain, so let's zhuzh it up. And, uh, throw some stars on there, because uh, everything could use some more stars. I'm going to fast forward through this part. OK, there we go. So we have our nice, cute little stars and a little bit of a frame. So what we're going to do now is close all these guys up. Let's select them all and pre-compose. Now you can pre-compose the whole thing or you can pre-compose your elements separately. Um, if you want, I'm just going to pre-compose the whole thing for speed. So we're going to go over here to effects panel, type in mosaic and slap mosaic on our pre-composition. God, that looks horrible. So now we're gonna crank it up, and I mean crank it up, crank this effect up, 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 up. Um, see, even these high numbers, like seemingly high numbers over here, what is this doing? Nothing. I mean, not nothing, but it doesn't look good. <laughs> I like how chunky these stars look at this different, at this like lower uh, pixel resolution, or pixel looking resolution. Um, but the type looks still really icky. Um, and remember, you can like pre-compose these elements separately and uh, do a different mosaic effect on each of them. It shouldn't affect your render time too much because this is only a 16-bit effect. Here we go. This is looking really cute. And like I said, there's no animation on this right now, but this will apply to any animations that you, you do. Um, on the type, on the shapes, on the background, whatever. Um, just remember to pre-compose and slap it effect on. So thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe for more.